Okay, so again, one of the great opportunities that the pandemic has offered is this, this concept of synchronous and asynchronous work. So in this video, we're going to talk about maybe creating a lesson that can be that can be completely asynchronous for your students. So let's say the concept was striking with an implement. So you have taken the time to build yourself a Google slide deck with you know, the, with everything in there. It's got the cues, it's got video, it's got timers. So here is just one 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 idea. This is a, a quick presentation that I put together for striking. And let's say that we wanted to push this out to our students asynchronously. We've got a Google Classroom. Now let's put it all together. So we went ahead and we made our Google Slide Deck. Now we are ready to share with our students. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into another tab that I already have open, which is my Google Classroom. So for this purpose, I just made a generic Google Classroom just to show you what we could do. So we can do a couple things. One, we could just make an announcement and we could attach that to our announcement. But what I've been doing is I have been going to the Classwork tab and creating. And this is where you can, again, you, you have to decide the route that you want to go. So what I've been doing is I've been doing topics. And so each topic is one week worth of worth of activities or one one week of a lesson plan so i've been doing one week at a time so i would first create a topic that says you know week of may 1st through may 5th but you might want to do it differently so for this purpose we could just say hey we want to create a material or create an assignment so if we create an assignment we're pushing this out to students that this is going to be an asynchronous assignment that students need to complete and turn in whatever you're going to have them turn in, whether that's answering a question, whether that's them recording themselves and, and sending you documentation. You need, again, you need to figure out what your what that looks like, what your assignment will actually be. But let's say that this is this is striking. And again, you can put in the instructions and then we're going to add the we're going to add the presentation that we just made. So that is in my Google Drive. So we'll go there. And since it's one of the most recent ones that we just did, it should be right there at the front. And so we're going to insert that. So now we we have our Google Slides and you can change what the students can do. This is a really great option. You can say make a copy for each student so they can individualize if they need to change anything. If they want to change anything, it won't mess up the original file, but they they can kind of manipulate the, the lesson to whatever they need it to be. I just for for the sakes of this i've been leaving it as view file and then again you can change what you need to over here you can assign it to all of your classes to some of your classes you can change it again to all of your students some of your students points due date again if if you would put this in a topic like in a weekly topic you could change it there if you've created some sort of a rubric you can add it there i mean the the sky is the limit for what you want to do there there's a lot to offer here in uh, google classroom so there you go you have put together your slide deck you've now created an assignment for your students last thing you just need to do is assign and you can the cool thing is is if you're trying to be proactive and maybe get this done on the weekend and you don't want students yet to see it, or maybe you're kind of weeks ahead, you can schedule it, you can save it and come back to it. 
or if you're ready, go ahead and just assign it and it'll push it out and notify students right away that they now have an assignment. So there you go. Have fun.